Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss about functions. Basically a function is a special type of a relation. So we say a relation f which goes from a set A to a set B is said to be a function if every element of set A has one and only one image in set B. If f is a function from A to B which is written in this form and we have that the ordered pair AB belongs to the function f then f of A is equal to B where this B is called the image of A under F and A is called pre-image of B under F. Here the set A is the domain of the function F and set B is the co-domain of function f and the set of images is called the range of the function. Consider a set A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and a set B equal to 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Let f be equal to x, y such that x belongs to A, y belongs to B and y is equal to x square. Now what we do is we give different values to x from the set A and we get the corresponding values of y using y equal to x square. So we have f is equal to 1 1 2 4 3 9 4 16. Clearly f which goes from the set A to set B is a function since every element in set A has a unique image in set B under f. Then domain of the function f is the set a that is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Then codomain of the function f is the set b which is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Then we have range of the function f is the set of images which is 1, 4, 9, 16. Now next we define a real valued function, a function which has either R or one of its subsets as its range is called a real valued function and further if its domain is also either r or a subset of r it is called a real function. Now we shall discuss some functions and their graphs. First let's consider identity function here we have let R be the set of real numbers then we define the real valued function F 
which goes from R to R by Y equal to F of X or equal to X for each X belongs to R. Such a function is called an identity function. Here the domain and range of F is R. This is the graph for the identity function which is a straight line as you can see it passes through the origin. Next is the constant function We define a function f which goes from r to r by y equal to fx equal to c for each x belongs to r and where we have the c is some constant. Now here domain of the function f is r that is the set of real numbers and range of f is the singleton C. The graph for the constant function is a line parallel to the x-axis like this is the graph for the function fx equal to 3 for each x belongs to R. Next we have polynomial function That is, a function f which goes from r to r is said to be a polynomial function if for each x in r we have y is equal to fx equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus and so on up to a n x to the power n where this n is non-negative integer and a0, a1, a2 and so on up to a n belongs to r. Consider a function f which goes from r to r defined by y equal to fx equal to x square where each x belongs to R. This is the graph for the function y equal to fx equal to x square. Now, domain of this function f is equal to x such that x belongs to R and range of the function f is equal to the set x such that x is greater than or equal to 0 for each x belongs to R. Next we shall discuss rational functions These are the functions of the type fx upon gx where we have fx and gx are the polynomial functions of x defined in a domain and where we have gx is not equal to 0. Let's define a function f which goes from r minus 0 to r defined by fx equal to 1 upon x where we have x belongs to r minus 0. This is the graph for this function f equal to 1 upon x and we have that the domain of the function f is the all real numbers except 0 then its range 
is also all real numbers except 0. Then we have modulus function that is the function f goes from r to r defined by fx equal to modulus x for each x belongs to r. This is called the modulus function and we have that for each non-negative value of x fx is equal to x that is we have fx is equal to x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and for negative values of x that is when x is less than 0 the value of fx is negative of the value of x that is minus x. And this is the graph for the modulus function fx equal to modulus x. The next is the signum function that is the function f which goes from r to r defined by fx equal to 1 when we have x is greater than 0 and fx equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 and fx equal to minus 1 when x is less than 0. This is the signum function. This is the graph for the signum function where we have fx is equal to modulus x upon x and x is not equal to 0 and we have fx is equal to 0 for x equal to 0. Then domain of the function f that is the signum function is r and range of the function f is the set minus 1 0 1. Now next is the greatest integer function that is the function f which goes from r to r defined by fx equal to the greatest integer function x where x belongs to r. This assumes the value of the greatest integer less than or equal to x. Such a function is called the greatest integer function. And from the definition of the greatest integer function we have that greatest integer function x is equal to minus 1 when we have x is greater than or equal to minus 1 and less than 0. Then value of this is equal to 0 when we have x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1. Then value of the greatest integer function x is 1 when x is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 2 and so on. This is the graph for the greatest integer function x. Next we shall discuss algebra of real functions. First we have addition of two real functions. That is, we have a function f which goes from x to r and a function g which goes from x to r. These are the two real functions. where we have x is a subset of r, then we define f plus g as a function which goes from x to r by f plus g of x is equal to fx plus gx for all x belongs to x. When we have subtraction of a real function from another, consider f which goes from x to r be a real function and g which goes from x to r be another real function where again we have x is a subset of r then we define f minus g as a function which goes from x to r by f minus g of x is equal to fx 
minus gx for all x belongs to x. Next is multiplication by a scalar. We consider a real valued function f which goes from x to r and we have alpha be any scalar then the product of the function f and the scalar is alpha f it is a function defined from x to r such that alpha f of x is equal to alpha into fx where we have x belongs to x. Then we have multiplication of two real functions. We consider a real function f which goes from x to r and a real function g which again goes from x to r. Then the product is defined by fg which goes from x to r such that we have fg of x is equal to fx multiplied by gx for all x belongs to x. This is also called point wise multiplication. Then we have question of two real functions. Consider a real function f which goes from x to r and another real function g which goes from x to r where we have x is a subset of r. Then the question of f by g denoted by f upon g is defined by f by g of x is equal to fx upon gx for all x belongs to x and where we have gx is not equal to 0. Let the function fx be equal to x square. This is a real function. Then a function gx equal to 3x plus 2 which is again a real function. Now f plus g of x is equal to fx that is x squared plus gx that is 3x plus 2. Then f minus g of x is equal to fx that is x squared minus gx that is 3x plus 2 which is finally equal to x squared minus 3x minus 2. Then fg of x is equal to fx which is x square multiplied by gx that is 3x plus 2. Now this is equal to 3x cube plus 2x square. Now f by g of x is equal to fx that is x square upon gx that is 3x plus 2 provided that x is not equal to minus 2 upon 3. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the concept of functions.